Hello, Helen is with you and you are on the coolest channel New Weapons. I'm sure you think so. Okay, let's start. Today we are talking about the first launch of the Zircon hypersonic missile from the frigate Admiral Gershkov, Russian Navy. Although we are not even just talking, but announcing the launch of the most mysterious sea-based missile Zircon. I'll reveal a secret. Until now a major of this missile have not been publicly available, and even I didn't know what she really look like. The 6th of October 2020 from the YCA, the lead frigate of a series of Project 22350 ships fired for the first time at Zircon hypersonic cruise missile at a sea target. According to objective control data, the Zircon hypersonic anti-ship cruise missile successfully hit a sea target at a distance of 450 km with a direct hit. 400 fuck and 50 km. Are you seriously? The flight lasted 4 or 5 minutes, the rocket speed was more than match 8, the maximum height was 28 kilometers. This is the third hypersonic missile appeared in Russian's arsenal, in addition to the Kinzhal hypersonic missile system and the avant-garde silo-based hypersonic missile system. In the video we see 60 vertical launchers of the Universal Shipborne Firing Complex. It's from their installations that the most famous Russian missile Kaliber is launched, which can strike both sea and coastal targets. The firing range of the Kaliber missile against sea target in 375 km and against ground target 2600 km. From the same installations you can launch the P-800 Onyx missile. The expert name is Yahont which surpasses the characteristics of American AGM-84 Garpoon anti-ship cruise missile, one of the most widely threat in the world, which has a target range of about 220 km depending on the purpose. Also from the Russian complex it is possible to launch the Brahmos supersonic anti-ship missile, the brainchild of a Russian Indian enterprise with the same name. The name was chosen in honor of the Brahmos Puta and Moscow Rivers. Ships that can launch the Kaliber rocket might just as well use the latest Zircon hypersonic rocket. But what is known about the Russian Zircon hypersonic anti-ship missile itself? The speed of the Zircon allows it is easily bypass all existing missile defense and air defense systems. The missile cannot be caught up or intercepted. The newest Russian hypersonic missile Zircon is capable of speeds of about Mach 9 and its range can exceed 1000 km. The rocket is flying on the cruise section at an altitude of 30-40 km. Such a flight altitude can significantly increase the range and speed of the product. Approximate characteristic of Zircon firing range according to various sources from 400 to 1000 kilometers product length 4 or 10 meters speed much 8 or more warhead weight 3000 or 4000 kilograms Zircon is designed to arm nuclear submarines and surface ships the arrival of missiles is the formation and units of the Navy is scheduled for 2021 or 2022 new weapons under the leadership of commander-in-chief of the Russian armed forces Vladimir Putin Exercises of Strategic Forces Grom-2022 were launched. The response to a possible nuclear strike on Russia was practiced, and the work of land, sea, and air strategic deterrent forces was tested. A massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces in response to an enemy nuclear strike was practiced. The training involved the Yars mobile missile system of the Strategic Missile Forces, whose intercontinental ballistic missile struck the Kura test site in Kamchatka. The strategic missile submarine Tula of the Northern Fleet also launched the ballistic missile Sinova from the waters of the Barents Sea. Two 2 95 Mega Siemens long range strategic missile carriers carried out launches of air launched cruise missiles. The tasks set for the Russian military were fully accomplished and all the missiles reached their targets, confirming their assigned characteristics. American authorities were warned about these exercises. The Pentagon also said that the U.S. sees no signs that Russia is planning to launch a nuclear strike. The steadfast new NATO nuclear deterrence exercises are now underway with the participation of 14 countries. NATO noted that the maneuvers are planned and are not connected with any current events in the world. 
I would also remind you that previous exercises of the Russian Strategic Deterrent Forces were held five days before the start of the Russian Special Operation. Russian President Vladimir Putin was also in charge of the exercise. As part of the exercise, the military attacked naval and ground targets by launching Kinjal, the Caliber cruise missile and the ZIRKON hypersonic missile. Sineva and Yars ballistic missiles were also launched at the Kura test site in Kamchatka. The Yars intercontinental ballistic missile was fired at the Kura test site in Kamchatka from the Plesetsk Cosmodrome. The training is carried out as part of a nuclear deterrence exercise on behalf of Russian President Vladimir All missiles are targeted targets, confirming the specified characteristics. The tasks that were set for the state military have been fully completed. The response to a possible nuclear strike on Russia was practiced, and the work of land, sea, and air strategic deterrent forces was tested. A massive nuclear strike by strategic offensive forces in response to an enemy nuclear strike was practiced. The training involved the Yars mobile missile system of the strategic missile forces, whose intercontinental ballistic missile struck the Kura test site in Kamchatka. The strategic missile submarine Tula of the Northern Fleet also launched the ballistic missile Sineva from the waters of the Barents Sea. Two 2 95 Mega Siemens long range strategic missile carriers carried out launches of air launched cruise missiles. The tasks set for the Russian military were fully accomplished and all the missiles reached their targets, confirming their assigned characteristics. American authorities were warned about these exercises. The Pentagon also said that the U.S. sees no signs that Russia is planning to launch a nuclear strike. The steadfast new NATO nuclear deterrence exercises are now underway with the participation of 14 countries. Forces were held five days before the start of the Russian special operation. Hello everyone, you are on the new weapons channel and with you, Russian girl, Helen. Today in the video is a thunderstorm of fear of all countries and peoples. It is Russia's avant-garde hypersonic. You are on the new weapons channel, let's talk. Everyone wants hypersonic weapons now, and it seems that this is not a joke. Russia already has such a thing and its name is avant-garde. Russia's avant-garde hypersonic intercontinental ballistic missile is to the United States isn't entirely clear. The avant-garde have both hypersonic speed and an ability to fly a maneuvering flight path through the atmosphere. Such a combination would make it considerably difficult to counter. It can reportedly increase at 20 seven times the speed of sound and its ability to maneuver could make it almost impossible to correctly predict its trajectory, which provides the avant-garde with the ability to protect itself from air and ballistic missile defenses that try to impede its path. The United States has practically no chances to resist the avant-garde, since in the event of large-scale hostilities, Russia will attack a potential enemy with all available weapons, said Major General Vladimir. Yeah.